Okay, once again, it's another rainy day, so it's time to review some gear. Uh, today, we're going to look at some butt protectors and hip protectors. Um, if you look at human anatomy, you have hip bones. And if you reach down on the side of your leg, you'll feel that your hip bone is very near to the surface. In fact, if you press on it really hard with your fingers, it, it might hurt a little bit. Uh, if you go off on the bike to the side and you land right on your hip like that, especially on a rock or something, um, it's pretty painful. So I always get pants, if I can, that have the hip pad pockets in them, uh, like the climb dirt pants I use. So I throw those D3O pads in there, but I also usually wear something else in addition to that. Uh, and I've got three here to go over and uh, I've done the hard work for you guys and I have crashed in all three of them. So first one up is Bond Body Armor. Um, Bond sells a shirt, um, long sleeve, or long sleeve, long leg pants and uh, short, short pants like this. I have the longs and the shorts and the material is kind of like an Under Armour type material, wicking material. Uh, but in the pants are all these pockets for uh, armor pads that it comes with. Now, a cool thing is if you get the long pants first, uh, you'll get knee pad uh, armor as well. And then you can just order the shorts shell and you can transfer the pads to just the shorts. Um, <clears throat> the uh, thing about Bond is I found with the sizing is locate whatever size you are on their size chart and go one size down because they do run big. But this is their Bond Bodyguard series of uh, shorts here. And so we have a hip pad that runs along the top of your hip bone, right at your waist, like right at belt level. There is a thigh pad that wraps around pretty good around the side of your leg and around towards the front. Uh, there's a tailbone pad here as well. So there's five total pads in this. And it has like a kind of a stretchy top, all right? And uh, it's got some material here to keep it from riding up, kind of a little bit of a rubbery feel to it. Um, and a really good feature is that the crotch area is totally mesh. And that's good for ventilation. And also when you're laying in the emergency room, um, for sure, the nurses will take notice. I can attest to that. Um, <clears throat> these are pretty good. Uh, the armor in them is like a CE level one armor. It's like a dense foam. I'll pull one of the pads out here so we can see it. They just pop out. Okay. So it's CE certified armor and it's reasonably thick. Um, it's got vent holes in it. All the, all the pads do. Uh, in my crash in this, uh, I unfortunately landed uh, in a such a way that I took a rock like what, right between one of the pads. Um, that's not really the fault of these shorts. It's just pot luck of the way I landed. But like right between this hip pad and the thigh pad, I landed right on a rock and got a pretty gnarly bruise. I mean, that, that could happen with any of these. Um, as far as comfort level on these, uh, they're not really hot or anything. Uh, the coverage of the padding is is pretty good uh, as far as surface area covered. Um, they are a little on the pricey side. I think if you, I think they're like, I want to say these are seventy or eighty dollars um, if you buy like the shorts with the pads. Uh, the, just the shorts liner itself is cheap. Um, and again, if you're interested in like the Bond system. I would buy the long pants, which you can wear under any type of, of pant. And those are pretty good in the winter, too, just to like for extra warmth. And why not have a base layer that has uh, extra armor in it? It's kind of almost like um, a compression suit for like your lower half with uh, the padding in it. <laughs> but uh, these are crash worthy um, and, you know, definitely not uncomfortable to wear if you get the right size. Like I said, go a size down. But another one I have is, these are the Climb uh, Tactical Shorts. 
And they also make a tactical pant, which is, which is long legs. But these are the shorts version. And I can't vouch for the sanitation of any of these. I'm throwing them everything in the wash. Uh, we will not be turning on the, uh, the black light or ultraviolet light to inspect them. But what these have is, this is the front of the pants, okay? Then here's the side of the pant, and then the rear of the pant. And so these have uh, Poron XRD, which is a very dense um, type foam that uh, uh, it's, it's, it's kind of feels like a lot like a, a really dense memory foam material. But the, it's not quite like D3O, but it's not regular foam either. Um, <clears throat> Climb also uses the Poron XRD uh, under the knuckle protection and a lot of their gloves they make. But on this, you've got these three chevrons of it right up at the edge of your top of your hip bone by your waist and then down the sides of your your hip and then the interesting thing is the padding this is the front of the leg has two chevrons of this poron xrd stuff in it uh, these are actually the only pants that have front thigh armor on them so you have the side and you have the front and then you have a little triangle of poron XRD here right over uh, your tailbone area. Um, inside, they're a lot like a uh, bicyclist kind of pant. They have a, a giant uh, man maxi or man pond in here, of uh, a chamois, as the French would say, of comfort material. Um, these are probably the most comfortable out of the set of things I have. Um, they also have the uh, rubbery silicone type things in the leg openings to keep them from riding up. Uh, these are not hot. These are not uncomfortable at all either. Uh, I would I wear these generally if I'm doing like a dual sport ride where I'm going to be in the saddle all day. Just having the, the extra butt pad in there uh, makes for a more comfortable all day experience on your butt. Um, <clears throat> So you don't get uh, sweaty monkey butt or irritation or rash. Um, the, the bond shorts do not have that in them. Um, both of these I generally just wear as uh, the under britches for the day. Um, <clears throat> so the climbs are definitely the most comfortable. Um, they, they do not have as comprehensive of armor coverage as the bonds do. Uh, but I, I've crashed in these as well, and I found these to be uh, effective as well in a crash. Obviously, it's a little bit, like I said, potluck if you happen to land on a rock edge or a stick or something between um, one of the armor pieces, you know, you're going to get nailed. But this will protect like the, the portions of your side of your hip bone uh, that, you know, protrude and are right up uh, underneath your skin surface and tend to be very painful to land on. And I just think also it's interesting that they put uh, armor on the front of the top of your thighs um, versus the bond, which I'll, I'll pull up here again. Whereas the bonds, if you, it's kind of hard to show them because there's so many pads in them, but this has this big pad around the upper edge of your hip bone by your waist again, and then a very big thigh pad. Here as well but when you actually wear them the thigh pad wraps around a little bit towards the front of your thigh but it's mostly the uh, protection for the side of your leg now um, the ones I use mostly nowadays for off-road riding are these here these are what Dionese calls their hard short and it's a mesh material and I just wear it as mesh with no under britches underneath it and just uh, kind of free ball it for the ventilation. I'm kidding, of course. Um, I haven't actually tried that, but I probably will in the summer. Um, what I like about these, uh, when I wear these, I just wear like a synthetic pair of like, uh, you know, athletic boxers or something, under armor or something underneath them. Um, the mesh material is not, it's not irritating or anything. It has the same type of stuff on the uh, leg openings to keep them from riding up. Um, 
they it actually does flex and stretch quite a bit it comes in a few different sizes all of these tend to ride up a little high towards your belly button uh, you, you might like wind up folding it over one time or just pulling them up all the way and dealing with it um, but if you get some of these you'll you'll figure out what's comfortable for you the other thing the Dionysus have which the others don't is uh, hard armor so this is the plate that's on the side of your thigh so you got a hard armor here CE certified underneath it is a big layer of Dionysi crash absorb material which is the same thing in the Dionysi uh, elbow guards I use which I'll do a review on those uh, coming up fairly soon um, here all across the top of your hip bone by the waist and going all the way around to the back so it kind of wraps all around the side of your waist where your hip bone is and everything you've got significant crash absorb padding here and then if we look at the back you can see uh, how that that top pad would wrap all the way around the top of your waist and it has a hard tailbone protector with crash absorb underneath it and has these other pads here right on your butt cheeks uh, this is probably the most protective out of all of these uh, i thought at first like this hard tailbone protector would feel uh let's just say weird riding around with it and stuff but honestly you, you don't even notice that it's there uh, you just don't feel it but it is to protect your tailbone if you land right on your tailbone um, that can be easily broken and i haven't broken mine but i am told that it is an extremely painful type of in, uh, injury um, the side armor the reason I got these mainly is because the, the coverage was a lot more comprehensive than the other two. And I wanted the hard plates backed with the foam, uh, the crash absorb foam on the sides of the thigh. Um, because of that, that crash I took in the Bond uh, armor where I got nailed with that rock, uh, like the whole side of my leg there just kind of had this big, ugly bruise that turned black and spread and got real big. And, and you know, that could happen with this if I take something in a gap. Uh, it's going to happen, but because I ride on rocks a lot, because it's the Pennsylvania state animal, um, I wanted the hard protection there. So they go on good, um, not uncomfortable. You do not feel them, the plates or anything when you're riding or the, the tailbone protector. And these are also a little on the expensive side. In fact, all of these are. They're probably all about in the $80 to $90 price range or so. But again, um, you know, very common to tip your bike over and like, ha ha, I land on my, you know, the side of my hip or something. But ugh, it's not so ha ha if you, you know, land right on a rock and you're hurting the rest of the day. So I think it's worth it. Um, these are not, you know, these are listed as motorcycle products. Um, but honestly, for trail riding, um, Alpine Stars, Dianese themselves, a number of companies have alternative products listed in their mountain biking lines that uh, may have slightly different pad arrangements or different materials. Like Dianese has a, a version of this hard short that has more of a traditional material that they list in their mountain biking line. And so does Alpine Stars. Any of those types of things are going to be just fine um, and do the same job. So it really just comes down to coverage that you feel comfortable with of course <clears throat> but like i said i i tend to double up so the um d3o pads that fit into the pockets on my dirt bike pants are probably like that big and so that's cool and they kind of cover this upper area by your waist but they certainly don't give you this wraparound coverage or anything for the side of your leg or your your butt cheeks or wrap around this way or a tailbone protector or anything so these are my number one choice for, for trail riding. And as you can imagine, being mesh, uh, they are not hot. And the mesh has actually turned out to be very durable. Uh, I am, you know, I try to be careful putting it on and stuff, but it, it's not like weak type stuff. It's a stretchy elastic type material. So I would, I would give the, the vote to, if you don't have any of this type of thing and you want to get one, I would go with the Dionese as first pick um, 
if you are more of a street type rider uh, and you're looking for something like this, then the climb tactical shorts or the tactical pants, uh, which uh, kind of continue the front of the leg coverage more down towards the knees uh, in the long pant version might be something to look at. The, these are the most comfortable just to wear all day. Like when you, if you're just sitting in the saddle all day, these definitely help with ride comfort. Um, the bonds are neat because it's a modular system of pads. So like I said, you can buy the long pants that come with all the pads and then you could get just the shell of the shorts and transfer your pads over for summertime use. And they do, they do have very good size coverage pads uh, on them. Um, I got, I really got no complaints about them. I just wanted the, um, the hard plate protection uh, of the Dionese, but these are good too. And you know, uh, they're made in the U S so if you're, you guys are overseas, they, they may be, you know, unreasonably pricey to get, but the, the climb or the Dionese should be available uh, worldwide or any of the Alpine stars, uh, type products of this nature. But I think it's, uh, you know, maybe a little overlooked type thing uh, for trail riding. Not uh, everybody has something like this. Um, but the first time you avoid, well, let's say you don't avoid hitting your tailbone or your uh, side of your hip bone right on a rock, you'll wish you had them. Uh, so certainly worth, worth wearing. And if nothing else, um, look to buy dirt bike pants that have hip pad pockets. And you can order um, D3O pads from practically any brand that would uh, you could put in there. Um, you can you can trim D3O scissors too to make make something fit. But uh, that's it. I want to try to keep it brief. But this is definitely butt protection, hip protection. It's definitely something I think uh, everybody should consider. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Mm -hmm.